Hi, I'm Sasha. And I'm Dahi. This is DNA Slot Cars, and we're going to be doing an unboxing and review. And track test. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, how are you doing, folks? As you can see, we kind of moved on past the festive period. Our DNA Slot Cars Christmas tree is no longer there. Yeah. Very, very sad, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah, it was sad to take it down. It was because Sasha decor decorated it especially and she picked out the car decorations, all that, didn't you? Yeah. Um, so today we have, we're going to be reviewing three cars. Um, we have never reviewed anything from them before. So we're reviewing three TTS cars. Now TTS, some of you may be familiar with. They are 124 scale slot car manufacturer from Italy. They did some um, partnership with BRM in the early days on a couple of cars. Uh, they don't do that anymore. They're kind of gone their own way. So we're very excited to, uh, to test these out. Now we've, yeah, I'm pretty excited about these. Either. Yeah, because we never got TTS cars. Never had a TTS. Um, so I'm excited on to our track before. Three. Never even had one in our hands before. Have we? Yeah, except by now. Um, I think it's a good moment to mention our channel sponsor, One Three Two Slot Cars dot US. And these reviews would not be possible um, without Alan and Julia and Co over there. Um, they did send us these cars um for review on the channel yeah um even though they did send us these cars we'd be giving you our honest opinion on them you know whether we like them dislike them um and sasha will obviously run the rule over them on the track <laughs> yeah see how it is i might actually get a sneaky few laps in when you're finished today curious <laughs> to test these yeah. out all right without further ado Let's uh, get cracking. Let's open these up, see what we've got. So there's a, a thing here on the side. Look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just uh, pull that like this. And there's one on the other side as well. Are you in struggle town? No, I got it. Yeah? Let's pop this over to us. All right, so um, you just got your, your red sleeve over the outer packaging, nicely decorated for TTS, and... Um, Oh, these look nice. All right, so there you see, just the uh, straightforward packaging. Just take um, this off. Very nice. Look at that. What have we got? Oh, yes. Look at this. Yeah, let go. Got the Auto Bianchini um, R Bath. And this is the Gulf livery. Our favorite livery. Very nice. And Sasha has got the Jägermeister delivery. Uh, livery, not delivery. <laughs> it's not Uber Eats, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> so the Jägermeister and the Gulf. Look at that. They're nice, aren't they? I think out of these two, it's this one. Yeah. Now, the big difference with these, okay, big difference yeah. is these are front wheel drive cars. So on all most other slot cars, it's the rear wheels that the power goes to first. Yeah. Whereas these the are front. front wheel drives, so they're going to behave differently on the track. So this will be the first time you'll have ever tried out a, a front wheel drive car, won't it? Yeah. Pretty exciting stuff. Um, let's have a quick look. Let's pop this down here for a minute on this. Yeah. Just so we can take a look. Um, we have another one there. Do you want to pop that one open? Yes, please. Yeah. One minute. I can do it. Yeah. Well. Oh. 
This is a very cool car. So this is the brand new livery of the Formula 2 cars. Now how cool is that? Open wheel Formula 2. Um, again, we have had nothing like this uh, on the track before. There is some interesting aspects to this car. So here's something, Sash, I'll show you. All right, so this is Team Varsteiner. That's the new bronze livery. Um, this has front wheel steering. This has literally has steering, which is an unusual thing for a slot car. Um, and it's also really cool. I really like the look of this, do you? Same. Nice color, nice livery. Now, I have heard that these are, there's quite a bit of weight to this as well, which is nice. Um, obviously, that steering aspect, um, we see the mechanism there. We'll obviously take a closer look at this. Um, I'm really liking the look of this, Sash. Same. It looks like a fast one. Yeah, I'm very curious on the front wheel steer. Because Same. normally, obviously, the slot cars are not steerable. So I'm curious to see how this behaves on the track. Now, I have spoken to Alan on these, and he said that these are fantastic fun, these cars. Fantastic fun. Uh, as are these with the front wheel drive. Um, I'm super curious um, to see how you'll run the rule over them. Yeah. See what you do. Um, let us know all your honest thoughts. And um, I think the next thing to do with these cars I'm just How excited about, to do these. Yeah. Let's take them over to the photo booth and we'll put them in for a little bit of a closer look so everybody can get a, a nice look at the at the details. Does yeah. that sound good to you? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, awesome. Okay, let's check out this Gulf McLaren sash. 124 grams. And four grams in the middle. Yeah, four grams of magnetic downforce. Same as the other one, I think. All right, Sasha. Uh, so we have the Otto Bianchini um, Arbath Golf Livery TTS 124. Um, what do you think of this car so far? I really like it. Yeah, same. It has a very cool livery and i like how it looks it looks like a fast car and i'm just excited to run tts for the first time yeah definitely excited to run tts um you you know you can't look past the golf livery my favorite golf livery is this sticker you know light blue orange um this is a uh, you know one of the mini cars i like the flared arches i also like the alloy wheels um yeah, just impressed um, with the cars. I would say that probably, I'm not sure if I prefer this one or the Jägermeister. I think I prefer this one because it's golf, <laughs> because we love golf. Yeah. <laughs> you've got nice detail there on the inside. You've got the roll cage and you've got the driver, etc. cetera. Um, it's, uh, yeah, nice, compact little car. Very interested to check it out on the track. Let's have a, a quick look at the underside of this. So you've got the full metal chassis. Um, once it comes back around here. Well, number one, I'm just excited to run front wheel drive because we never done that. We always do. My first back. ever my first ever slot cars were front wheel drive scale extra. Did you know that? Nope, I yeah. never knew. That's really cool. Yeah, it certainly is. So yeah, you can here see the um, it's like a two-piece chassis here, um, plenty of adjustment, and yeah, very curious on this one, Sash. Um, the car is lightweight, um, and uh, yeah, interested just to see how they perform. Uh, we haven't got any other front-wheel drive to compare it to. The closest we would have would be the Group Two BRM cars. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's get the Jägermeister on here, and we'll take it from there. All right, let's check this. 
124. Zero it out. Three grams of magnetic downforce. All right, so here we have the Jägermeister livery. Again, the Otto Bianchini uh, Arbath. Um, the Jägermeister liveries are always nice. I like that uh, yeah. bright orange paint. Uh, fortunately, drank far too much Jägermeister as when I was younger, <laughs> <laughs> which I'm sure a lot of other people did. Um, again, similar setup to the Golf car we just took a look at. Yeah. And the, the big deal with these is, is they are a front wheel drive vehicle. Yeah. Um, so when I turn this over, we'll, um, we'll just get another, another look at that chassis design and obviously the motor orientation and position as well. Um, overall, very curious on these. Um, Same. But really liking, liking the look of the car itself. Let's get this one stopped and we'll uh, turn this over. All right. So as we can see, you've got the, uh, obviously the motor is situated in the front of the vehicle. Um, you have that um, adjustable metal chassis as well. Again, super curious um to see how they perform i know the driving experience will be different for you <laughs> yeah so curious to see how you get on with that but yeah love deliveries uh really like the cars um and uh, looking forward to getting this one on the track yeah they look really cool though all right let's check out the formula two so this car is 147 grams and magnetic downforce. All right, two grams of magnetic downforce on this one. Okay, and this one I am the most excited about. Same. Um, this is again of course tts 124 this is an open wheel formula 2 car yeah but the the big interest and excitement for me on this is the fact that this vehicle also includes front wheel steering and you can see that the car is positioned at an angle at the moment and you can see that the steering is is angled um and yeah, some nice detail on that. Yeah, very, very excited about this one. They're supposed to be great fun. Nice bit of weight to the car as well. Yeah. Definitely a nice bit of weight to the car. Um, but yeah, very, very cool indeed. Love delivery on this one too. Same. Like that, uh, that bronze, gold bronze Varsteiner. Um, this is a BMW vehicle, uh, number 44. Yeah, super, super impressed with this. Um, can't wait for you to do some laps in it. Yeah, me too. I'm just excited to do this car because yeah. it's a cool livery. And it's interesting because the uh, front wheel is, steering. Well, let me see. Can I get a quick look at the... Uh, I'll take it up now and just let people have a look at the underside of this car. All right, so here we go with the underside of the car. Um, yeah, uh, again, metal chassis. You've got a nice bit of weight to this car as well. And you've got the um, front wheel steer. Let's see, can we just grab this for a second just to demonstrate people? Yeah, nice. That's really cool. It is. Now the driver's hands don't turn as well, which I wasn't expecting to. Would have been nice um, to see, but obviously more moving parts. Very nice. Um, let's get these on the Magnet Marshal and check them out. Okay, Sasha, whenever you're ready, if you want to get going.
It's very tail happy. Yes, it is. Looks fun though. Yeah, it's very fun. Like, if you had to say rating by funnest car, I think it might have to be this one. That's it. Nice driving. Okay. See, so can you get cooking, Sash? Okay, round four. <laughs> Keep going. All right, it's extremely tail happy. We've yeah. not done anything to these tires. And obviously you've got that front wheel drive. That's it, Sash. The guide is getting stuck when you do opposite lock, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. All right, and we are yes. off. Okay, let's have a quick look. It was fun to drive, though. Very fun. <laughs> yeah. Extremely fun. Um, yeah, so this, uh, just to show you. So the guide keeps getting locked and will not go back without a bit of force there. It's not too bad in the other direction, but it's just getting caught on the chassis. And um, because it's... So tail happy, um, it is pushed over to these areas quite a bit. And it's okay on that side, but it's going here and then it's not going back. So that's making it a little bit hard to keep it in motion. What are your thoughts on this one then? But it is very fun to drive. Yeah, it's a lot tail, of fun. It's very fun. Yeah. Like if that was number one priority, that would be my funnest car right now. Okay, Sash, you going for Jägermeister this time? Yeah. Yeah, take it easy with it. As I said, you're new to the front wheel drive setup. Um, let us know how you go. Definitely a severe lack of traction. Struggling to get up the hill there. Nice driving, Tex. Thanks. A bit struggles to get up the hill sometimes, but I, either way, is that it's it's a good car. It's good fun. Yeah, good fun. And give her plenty of gumption going up that hill. Very drifty. Yes. Nice driving though. Woo! That was a nice one. Great fun. Great fun. All right, bring that one back into stable whenever you're ready. All right, now Formula 2 with the steering, as we can see here. Very interesting setup, huh? I'm very excited for this one yeah, right now. Yeah, me too, Sash. All right, you keep her list whenever you're ready. Oh, well, it's far, far quieter, isn't it? Very quiet. This is very quiet in comparison. Keep going. Oh, and it's a, it's a beauty and a beast. It's a fast. Now it is quite low, so it is catching on the track joints. 
Nice. Any thoughts, Sash? It is as quiet as a mouse. I like how it runs. It's very yeah. smooth. We definitely need to sort out the um, that guide because it's catching on all the um, all the track joins. So it's a lot of uh, cracking as a go. But the actual motor itself is very quiet, isn't it? Yes. Nice. The drift queen back in operation. <laughs> okay, Sash, bring her back into the stable when we're ready. Nice. That was really fun. Well, these are definitely a whole heap of fun, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Whole heap of fun. Um, yeah, look, just a nice, uh, nice design. I really like. Look, we have to do some work on the tires. But yeah, this is catching this guy. He just clattering over all the um, track joints. But it was fun for me to experience front wheel driving cars. It sure was. Okay, well, let's get back to the review table and we can have a chat, see what our thoughts are. Yeah. So we're back at the track. Oh, sorry. We're so we're back at the review table. We certainly are back at the track slash review table. <laughs> okay, Sash, uh, the front wheel drive Formula 2, <clears throat> how did you find it? It was a very quiet car. It yeah. was smooth. <clears throat> it was fun to drive, and it was really fast. Yeah. Uh, how did you find that front wheel steer? I thought that was really fun. Yeah. And it really, really went around the corner as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'd say the only negative to it um, is that the car is quite low and the guide is catching slightly on all the track, track uh, gaps, so the track transition pieces. Um, so it was kind of a catching on those as you were going. So there was a bit of an audible sound of it going around. That would need to be adjusted um but that certainly wouldn't detract for the enjoyment this is definitely a winner love the format love the front wheel steer yeah inline motor super quick super quiet yes um you know and all you have to do just get that um get that guide sorted out and it uh, wouldn't cause any problem there yeah really like it like the uh, mechanism the front wheel steer it's it's nicely done yeah um and super fun um and i like to experience that the front yeah. wheels uh steering yeah definitely front wheel steer is interesting isn't it we didn't do any work on the on the no. tires on this one either but uh yeah this one is this one is well built i think um if you're going to ask me what my thoughts are i this is by far a standout for me yeah, um same. i thought that the two r bats are fun the front wheel drives and um, they wouldn't be my favorite cars we've tested i have to be honest um they are fun but i just think that they're a real struggle on on uh, i'm not sure what they're like on a wood route of track or whatever but they were a bit of a struggle uh for you there yeah so you definitely need a little bit of um tire work done on them um how do you think so how would you compare those to say the brm uh, mini cars well the brms are i think i'm just being honest are a lot better than tts because tts was a bit hard for me mm -hmm. to drive than mm -hmm. brm because just brm is way easier for me to drive okay. than tts yeah no it's it's you know it's 
they're they're great cars and they're great fun. Yeah. Um, I just think that um, you know, it was interesting to find out your opinion because you've driven both of them. You know, um, they're still going to be a lot of fun for people. I would think they'd be very interesting to test out on the polycar track. Oh yes. Because they really really struggled for grip there with these tires. Obviously, we'd need to true them and uh, try and improve the handling a little bit. But you're you're going to have that fun aspect of the front wheel drive. Um, this is a, a winner. I really like this car. Yeah. Honestly, guys, I would suggest uh, get that car. Get that car <laughs> <laughs> if if you want to have some fun and something a little bit different. This is is pure class. Um, shout out to our sponsor, Alan. At one three two, two slot car dot US. US. Um, here or here or up there or down here all these cars are available for sale on his website we will leave links to these cars in the description um they're they're all great fun um yeah. my my favorite is definitely the formula yes. two i would highly recommend that car um by one two and three for me is one two and three yeah well, I'm going to go one, two, and three, <laughs> purely because I like the golf livery. <laughs> yeah. But even though this one had a bit of a sticky guide, um, I still think they're... That was my most struggling car. Yeah, yeah you really struggle with that one. Yeah. You? Yeah. Well, that's sometimes what happens, you know. Um, yeah. But look, it's it's been a pleasure to, to review these cars. And um, yeah, definitely recommend Great you fun. check out these TTS cars, uh, front wheel drive our baths, as we said, or the Formula 2. And thanks again to 132 Slot Car at US. US. And thanks for all your support, tuning in, watching all the comments. We did some great, like our last uh, highlights were saying that there was over a thousand comments. There was, um, we had 759 subscribers. I think we've got some more now again. So things are going well, aren't they? And also, thank you, everybody, for supporting our channel. Mm -hmm. That just makes my heart feel three times the size like in the Grinch. <laughs> yes. Except it wasn't all sloppy yeah. in May. <laughs> all right, folks, as always. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.